Hello, my beautiful people. It's Mina. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Uh, we just finished a pour uh, last week called Journey of Hope, which was a pour for the Make-A-Wish Foundation, which was an awesome, awesome thing. And I'm so excited to be a part of that. And we used mix as our pouring medium, and it was awesome. It was really wonderful, and it dried so beautifully and sparkly and shimmery, and it was just amazing. So I want to play with this some more tonight. Uh, if you are interested in getting some mix, you can message Krista, email her at Krista8974 at gmail.com and you can talk to her about getting some mix for yourself. So that's what we're going to use for our pouring medium. Last time we used this 20 ounce split cup, which is getting very decorated from Mixed Media Girl. Can you see in there actually the MMG? <laughs> it's kind of cool. This is a two chamber split cup and we're going to do a, last time we just did a ring pour, tonight we're going to do a wandering ring pour, which I'm very excited about. Let me show you the colors real quick and then we'll get started. So, our first one is one of my favorite showgirls. This one is Decorate Extreme Sheen in Pink Tomaline. So beautiful and look at, look at how nice and thick and just beautiful that is, it's amazing. And this is only mixed with mix, nothing else. So that's our pink tourmaline. We also have my favorite 24 karat gold from Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. This one is kind of thick. I might need to water that down a little bit. But I do like to keep the gold just a touch thicker than everything else so that it doesn't disappear and just leave a sheen on the surface. I like it to actually have ribbons and cells made of gold. So that's our 24 karat gold. We are also using one that's new to me tonight. This is Folk Art Treasure Gold in Blue Quartz. And my darling friend, Sarah Mack, loves this color and uses it all the time. And this is the first time I've used it. So this should be a lot of fun. This is so pretty, just gorgeous. Very excited about that one. That's the blue quartz. And we are also using antique copper, also from Folk Art Treasure Gold. Beautiful. Can you just see that coppery shimmer on the surface of it, AJ? So pretty, but it's this beautiful, luscious color. Nice and thick, gorgeous stuff. Okay, and then we are using my Golden's Prussian Blue, which I absolutely love this color. I have added a touch of water to this one because it was so thick, just amazing stuff. Okay, that's the Prussian Blue from Golden's. And this one is my Deco Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels in Pure White, mixed with mix. And there's nothing else in here, just that one tonight. I gotta get some more Amsterdam Titanium White. <laughs> okay, and then I do have a flow extender here that is mostly made up of Modern Masters Metallics in Shimmering Sky, I think, but this is gonna be our flow extender. So, all right, let's go ahead and start and layer our cup. So last time we did just one ring pour in the center. Tonight I wanna kinda move around a little bit. And uh, what was that piece we did with the tribal tattoo looking? You remember? <laughs> we did a wandering ring pour. I will link that one for you up here also. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, I think I want to put some pink tourmaline in the bottom. Pink tourmaline. Such a pretty color. And then a shot of white. Just a little bit. And a little bit of gold. And then we're going to put some of the antique copper in. And then some of our Prussian blue. And some of that beautiful blue quartz. Gosh, that's so pretty. Okay, and then we're going to put another shot of white in. And some more of our pink tourmaline. gold, because I love those two together. Some more of the antique copper. Another shot of Prussian blue. And one more shot of the blue quartz. So for a 24 by 24 inch canvas, to figure out how much paint you need, you multiply 24 by 24 and you end up with 576 and when you divide that by 28 you get 20.57 ounces which rounded up means 21 ounces of paint to cover the 24 by 24. This is a 20 ounce split cup which is awesome. 
and we're gonna use a flow extender, so I'm okay with going all the way up to the top. Okay, this one I wanna start with, actually I'm gonna start with a little shot of white, because we have pink tourmaline in the other one, in the bottom. I'm kinda gonna go reverse order in this one. I wanna have some Prussian blue, and some of the antique copper, and some of that beautiful blue topaz. So pretty, a sparkly baby blue, and then a shot of white, and some of our gold, and some of our pink tourmaline, our beautiful showgirl, and then let's go back to the antique copper now. Prussian blue, some of the blue topaz again, let's be weird and put some antique copper on top of it, Ooh, that's pretty, let's put some on top of that side too, okay. All right, so that's our cup. Should I might put a little bit of white on this side. Okay. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down a little puddle of gold to pour into. I think I'm gonna thin it up just a little tiny bit because it's pretty thick. So I got my water bottle. Just a splash. That's one of the really cool things about mix is if it's a little too thick, just put a little bit of water, <laughs> maybe a teaspoon or two, and it thins it down nicely. But I did want it thick when it was in the cup there. Okay, ooh. All right, so we're gonna pour like a runway of kind of where I'm gonna move around. Okay. All right, so that's kind of like our roadmap. All right. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, ma'am. Here we go. We're going to do a wandering ring pour, and we're going to go back and forth in that sort of zigzaggy pattern. Here we go. There's still a lot of paint in there, so if there's not a lot, but there's a lot on the sides that's gonna drip down. That's looking really awesome. I really like that. Okay, we're gonna come in with our flow extender. That's not too thin. Okay, we're just gonna go around it. And the purpose of this paint is to wet down the canvas so that when our pour slides around, it doesn't roll over itself. Sky. It's one of the modern masters paints. Let's spread that out now. We want to make sure we cover our edges too on the sides.
pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna put my hands up real quick. I'm gonna torch this. Because there you see a lot of really pretty stuff. That's really cool. I think what we're gonna end up keeping probably is this part that's in the center, but this is really pretty and I love that. The whole thing's cool. So let's torch this. Oh, you know what, before I do that, I need to remember to wipe off my spatula. <laughs> okay. Can I torch this in the dark? <laughs> if you want, honey. Sure. <laughs> okay. do is I'm going to take this edge and pull it down here to the corner because that's where a lot of the weight of the paint actually is. So let's just go nice and slow. We're going to roll this down to the corner. the thinner flow extender moving. That's okay because it's going to push the thicker paint off. We're going to anchor it over the edge and then bring it back towards the center. side seems to be anchored because it's not moving as much. Okay, let's look at this for a second. What's cool and what's not? I think the thing I'm loving the most is this part right in here. And this is really, really cool. I think I want to open that up. This is interesting. This is interesting, but it's not as interesting as everything else. This is really pretty up here with the antique copper and the, the blue topaz. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this down. Let's open up some of this stuff here at the top. And this is the nice thing about mix. You can see it's stretching. And it's going to open up all these lines. Cool. I'll probably leave some of that at the bottom, but I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that blue and white. Take this back this way. Towards the 
the center a little bit because all of it's up here on the edge in the corner. We'll open up this side. Too much of this right here. I feel like I could lose a little bit of that. Talk me into it. I mean, it is really neat though. Now, I'm gonna come around on that side and look at it. Ooh. What? Just looks totally different <laughs> from that perspective to over here. Now I kind of like that. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say the same thing, and then you said you want to get rid of it, and I imagined that way. Well, right. I'm trying Either to, way. you know, be smart as yeah. an artist and look at it from all angles before I make any decisions. So There's a lot of neat stuff going on here in that purple area. Yeah, there is. There is a lot of uh, the anti-copper up here also, which is cool. All right, so let's wipe our edges off. Paint thickness factor? Hmm? Is the paint thickness No, factor? it's going to be fine because this is mixed. It dries really, really nicely. It's going to be beautiful. Okay. That's actually really cool. I do want to take it down just a tiny bit more because I don't want this band of that orangey, pinky gold right in the center. I want it just a little bit lower. like any one thing in particular but there's a lot of things about it that I really really like. Okay, my hands off. I'm gonna decorate it myself again as usual. <laughs> okay so this part is just I love it. I love this color and that's the pink tourmaline with the gold on top of it and just a smidgen of white and I love all these little cells popping up through there. I love the blue topaz with all these lines in it. I really like that pink tourmaline with the darker Prussian blue. I love these shapes. I like these lines. I love that little band of Prussian blue. I love all these cells. I love this beautiful gradient from the pink tourmaline to the purple to the blue top and the antique copper. There we go, antique copper. And then these veins of Prussian blue coming up through there. This is like so pretty right there. Okay, this is cool. I really like this too. I could sit there and go back and forth and back and forth with this all night, but I'm not going to, <laughs> even though it would be a lot of fun. Um, so this is pretty awesome. I kind of like this a lot. I should torch it. So this is looking really awesome. I will show you guys when it's dry. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so this is the next day now. It's not dry yet, but I did want to show you some details and some close-up on it because it's so pretty. I just, you know, last night I thought it was cool. It had a lot of crazy colors in it, but as I've looked at it today a couple of different times, it's kind of grown on me and I see some things in it now. <laughs> so I was talking to my good friend Lee Massey about uh, this painting and I said I need a title and he said... Um, prancing tiger hidden dragon and I thought he was just you know messing with me like Lee likes to do <laughs> but now I look at it and I really do see some sort of that orange part that I love really does kind of look like a tiger or something there's its head with an eye and like a tongue and a couple of legs and, <laughs> <laughs> and then here's another dragon so it really is a prancing tiger and a hidden dragon not so hidden, but I think this was really cool. Last night I was seeing mountains and like swirling clouds, and I love that blue, blue quartz. It's so pretty. Kind of like snowy mountain peaks up there with a swirling sky, and there's another like eye right over here. <laughs> so I think we are actually going to call this one Prancing Tiger Hidden Dragon. <laughs> And um, we wanted to take a moment to wish our very favorite show pony, the one and only Jeremy Massey, a very, very happy birthday. And we love you a lot. And we think you are just an amazing artist and, you know, can't wait to see what you do next. So happy birthday, Jeremy Massey. Um, today, right after my premiere, Gina DeLuca has a premiere of a brand new painting for you guys. And then right after her is the Massey Art Studio premiere, which is Jeremy's birthday episode, which is gonna be so much fun. They did an amazing, amazing piece that I just did. Oh my God, it blew me away, it was great. So that will be happening right after Gina, and I will see you guys there. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. This has been a really beautiful painting, and I really enjoyed making this one, and I like using the mix. I'm happy that I've gotten some more. I'm gonna to need to get some more. Um, I will put Krista's email address for you on the screen again so you guys can get your own. Thank you all so much for being here. We love you a lot. I'll see you at the other guys' premieres.